Your health and safety, it's the reason we go out every week to get you answers about the places you love to eat. In this week's original restaurant report, Action News Jack's Ben Becker visits a repeat offender for the fifth time. If the courtyard cafe sounds familiar, well, it should, because for the fifth time in a year, inspectors have shut it down as they look for order in the court. <laughs> I paid a visit to the Courtyard Cafe in downtown Jacksonville. I just wanted to ask you about the rodent droppings. Inspectors found 25 dry rodent droppings, potentially hazardous food temperatures, and encrusted material on a can opener blade. It was temporarily closed. This was my fourth trip to the Courtyard Cafe in the past five months. I was there twice in July and once in June. Each time it was temporarily closed by inspectors. Recently, the Greek and Mexican restaurants that were once here are now gone, leaving only this Italian restaurant and a shocked customer. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so gross. Does it make you think twice? Oh, definitely. Definitely. There's like, like you've got it writing. Elsewhere, A&D Buffalo in the Regency Square Mall was cited for 12 live roaches, 25 dead roaches, and potentially hazardous food temperatures. It was temporarily closed. Inspectors at Ali's Fish Market on West 45th Street found 154 dry rodent droppings, five small flying insects, and potentially hazardous food temperatures. It was temporarily closed. And CJ Crab House on Norwood Avenue was cited for 152 dry rodent droppings, 15 to 20 live small flying insects, and potentially hazardous food temperatures. It too was temporarily closed. In the studio, Ben Becker, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Checks.